How's it going? It is Mythos Warber, and today we are taking a look at Queel from The Mandalorian Season 1. Of course, from Hot Toys. Let's get into this. Hey guys, so let's get Quill out of his box. And first off, I just wanna say I got mine from Toys on Fire, who are really making moves in the 1-6 scale world at the minute. Please be sure to check them out, as they have such great services and prices. As always, we have here some nice artwork showing off the figure on the Blurgs, which I have to say I'm a bit good at about that I don't have one of those. It'd be very cool to get some photos of Quill and Mando riding some Blurgs out in the wild, but maybe one day in the future, I could pick one of those up. First thing I notice here, as I get the box art and the insert out of the way, is how nice are the colours and tones on this figure and the accessories. I really love the look of Quill and Quill himself. I thought he was great in the show and I was devastated about what happened to him in there. Let's take a look at the base he comes with. It's very simple and has a printed sand look to the top of it and I'm actually quite happy with that as I'm getting really fed up with those sand bases with the feet that are molded into them. If they gave us that base without the feet, that'd be great. The worst decision they did with those bases was give us one with IG-11. I mean, come on Hot Toys, what was that all about? So looking at his accessories we have here, the extra hands he comes with, some for holding his little weapon, and some gesturing hands as well. We have his backpack here, and this thing is amazing guys. You might even mistake this for real leather that's been scaled down. It's designed that well and the molding on it just looks incredible. The little accessory pieces in there are molded into the sculpt and also the opening is molded into place as well. I did think that would be something you will be able to open and put things in, but never mind. It has a soft piece on the back as well guys for when it's on quill and comes in contact with his clothing. As you can see here guys, it's just fitted to his body with these little pieces of Velcro. I like this little bucket that he comes with, it looks great. The detail on it, the little chipping and weathering looks awesome. Uh, but guys, this makes me wish even more that I had a Blurg, so I could get some photos of him filling up their troughs with this little bucket. It's really well molded and is painted with some nice dirt and grime on there. Also, if you look inside, it does have some of that slop that he feeds to the Blurgs. We have these little pouches as well that attach to his belt and these things just clip on there nice and easy. We will get to those on him soon. Next up, let's take a look at his dart gun. Now I was gonna say blaster, but he did actually use this to put the Blurgs into a nice little nap, didn't he? When um, they were attacking Mando. And uh, hey guys, he comes with one of those tranquilizer darts as well, which looks really cool. It's really well made considering how small it is. It's got a clear section um, with a little yellow, I guess, tranquilizer liquid or something inside the center. As you can see by the shape though, it doesn't actually go into the gun. It's actually meant to go onto the Blurg's body, which we seen on the box art insert. Getting back to this gun though, guys, this thing is very cool. It has some nice paint apps on there, on the handle to make it look like real wood. It has a pleather strap that is actually real as well, not molded, which they could have maybe done with it being so small like that. The detail Hot Toys go to is just incredible, and that is why we collect these figures at the end of the day, right? He has some goggles too, which are super nice. Again, a real strap on there, which is awesome. And the lenses on there are a clear red. These things are gonna look so amazing on a photo shoot with Queen. He had them on top of his head mainly, but you could get some photos of him um, with them on, you know? Maybe working on IG-11 in his workshop, that would be so cool. 
He also comes with this teeny tiny little welder, which you could also use in those same photos for fixing IG-11. For the size of this thing, the detail and paint apps on there are insane. So that is all the extra little bits and bobs that he comes with. So finally, let's get taking a look at Quill himself. I'm really loving this figure guys and I think partly because all of the recent pickups that I've been getting have had armour and Quill obviously having a full fabric clothing set. I'm definitely just not used to this. But anyway, he is looking awesome. As I said earlier, the colour tones on him are so nice, really earthy and desaturated. If we have a close look at his scarf and the shoulder pads also, look at the detail on there. That is insane and it looks super nice. He's got his moulded gloves and boots too. Um, I guess they are made to look like real leather and those look great. His belt buckle is super clean and well made. For such a small figure that compared to other figures which, like I say, have full armour and weapons, this is such a change and honestly I'm really loving Quill. His head sculpt and hat look incredible. Obviously making alien type of heads works much better and pass off with our eyes much easier if I'm making sense. You know, human faces, we can spot the slightest detail that may be off, but with alien species, they tend to pretty much be spot on all of the time. So guys, if you've made it this far, thank you. And now let's get Quill's accessories and other bits and bobs on him. If you've seen my other videos, I often do little photo shoots at the end, but today we are going to do some thing, I guess a little bit different for this channel and do some poses with him and his friends. If you do want to see some photos of these guys, please be sure to head over to Instagram and take a look over there. All right, guys, let's get posing. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you've had fun watching this. And has this made you want to pick Quill up? If you haven't already, like I said, please be sure to hit up Toys on Fire. Their details are in the description of this video. If you have liked this, drop a like. Make sure to stick around and hit that subscribe button. And guys, if you want to see one of those videos where I do, do a photo shoot at the end, you can view one of those here. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.